I received a $5 tip from Super Snow Carl Turbo HD Remix. He says, don't at me, but I'm not a fan of the Level 1 podcast. I want my 90 minutes back. <laughs> Thanks for the money, dummies. <laughs> band, 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 band. The camera's been on the whole time. Bouncy, bouncy. I'm actually a virgin. <gasps> Fucking piece of garbage disc. <laughs> Thanks for the money, stupid fuck. What is going on, my friends? Welcome to a new streaming week. I am DSP, and today is the new release ga uh, day here on DSP Gaming with the release of Assassin's Creed Mirage. In addition to that, we've got a heck of a lot going on this week that's a definite. For example, really disgusting, excessive, nasty, over-the-top drama shit. We've also got stuff going on over on DSP Reacts, including horror movie reviews that have started. I actually just reviewed Scream 5 a couple of days ago. The protagonist sucks and the killer sucks. All right, that's my review of Scream 5. <laughs> So that's exciting. Plus, of course, my weekly react stream on Sunday. When I laugh, do I say, ack, 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 ack. <laughs> so it's ha, 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 ha. It's definitely not ack. It's ha, 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 really loud, right? These people literally sit there and they repeat the meme over and over to the point where now, through groupthink mentality, that meme is true. Like, we're listening right now to evidence. I don't laugh saying ack, ack, ack. Ha 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 There's actual idiots in my stream chat saying yes it's act. It's like, are you deaf? That doesn't sound like what you're saying it sounds like. The only people who would think that it sounds like that are people who are so brainwashed by this cultish, weird, memeish mentality to try to make fun of something that you just believe it. You understand you have to be weak-willed and weak-minded to have a groupthink belief that's not true. By the way, it's funny because his original source, Mighty D. No, this is my video. The original source was not Mighty D. Look, it's my raw video. Why would you say original source, Mighty D? How about original source, Dark Side Phil ripped off of his channel? <laughs> <laughs> original source, the king of crybabies HD. No, the original source is DSP Gaming. It's from me. It's not from the king of crybabies HD. They stole my content and this idiot is crediting people who stole it from my channel because they're a moron. Act, 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 act. We've got tons to get to today, so let's jump right into the show, shall we? All right, today is indeed a Friday. You know what that means. Friday Night Fights with Street Fighter VI. Before we jump into the content for the rest of the week, I would like to talk about what happened back on my streaming day on Wednesday. We performed a very interesting experiment. What am I talking about? Well, Wednesday night, I played Street Fighter. It was a Master Blanca stream. First of all, I rage quit more than I lost, and I'm happy for that. Obviously a great thing. I had four wins and 32 losses for a 3% win-loss ratio. Ouch. That's no good. That's definitely in the realm of a losing streak. So, I observed something pretty interesting. It seemed like the vast majority of people who I were facing all said cross-platform. That means the vast majority of people at that high ranking in Street Fighter 6 are not playing it on PlayStation 5, which is a bizarre statistic because over 50% of the people who own Street Fighter 6 own it on PS5. And I said, when I play this on Wednesday night, I want to actually track the data. So we did. It's, it's data. Wednesday night, I played a grand total of 54 matches, okay? I think that that equated to 27 different people who I fought. 23 of them were cross-platform. Only four players out of 27 were on PS5. I would like you to think about that for a moment. That is 14%. No. Yes. 14%. How does it make sense that only 15% of the people I played were on PS5 when it's 60% of people who own the game are on PS5? That doesn't seem statistically jive. People who are ranking high in the game are not playing it on PS5. Hmm. It's interesting, isn't it? Now, apparently two of the players were on Xbox. That would honestly make sense. It kind of jives, you know what I'm saying? But does it make any sense that literally 21 out of 27 players were on PC? 78% of the people I play at master level are on PC. 
an overwhelming majority. Do you think that's coincidence? Do you think that the most people who are at the master level of the game just happen to be all on the same platform? Oh, it was just a, a, a lucky thing that it happened that way, right? No. Here's what's going on. Pro players began to realize that there were ways to get an upper edge playing this game online. It's sad but true. On PC, they're doing like crazy macros and they press a button and it does a giant combo for them. People are cheating the game. What I'm saying is pro players have found ways around some of the limitations of online play. By tweaking this game on PC, they have dramatically reduced the amount of input delay. They have found ways that they're gonna get better connection. They have also found a way to limit dropped inputs. One thing that I'm distinctly noticing at the master level, when I'm playing people in crossplay, the game is mistiming my inputs or literally dropping them entirely. Gee, isn't it funny that they're literally reacting to every single thing I do instantly. I try to react to what they're doing and it feels like I'm playing underwater in a tub of molasses with chains and, and all kinds of weights hanging off of my body and gravity is 100 times as strong as usual. One of the basic bread and butter combos of Blanca. It's one of the easiest combos to perform in the entirety of the game. And multiple times the game is claiming that either I'm not pressing the button or my timing is off. Consistently too, because it wasn't like, oh, it dropped it once. It was like multiple times during these matches. And of course, always against a crossplay player that it would drop. Always. 1,396 matches. And you're telling me I haven't mastered a three hit combo with Blanca yet. I find it slightly hard to believe that it's me. I'm going to call bullshit. It's me. That's me and my execution. I'm getting older. Aki actually hurt my hand when I was playing with her. Seriously, my hand was like throbbing. It's ridiculous. You know, I, I can't take it. So yeah, I can't do a basic three hit combo. Sorry. What I'm seeing here, sadly, there is a situation where pro players have figured out the best way to play this game is to have PC. Gee, I wonder why every pro Street Fighter 6 player is playing only on PC, and they all seem to be in master, and they all seem to have great execution, and they don't drop their combos, and they don't have input delay. Now, I know for a fact that there are players in the FGC who have actually custom tweaked their PCs to play this game. Oh my god, people actually have a gaming PC, and they sat there and they actually tweaked the shit out of it? Yes, I know of one. There's one, it's called FGOS. It's a fighting game operating system tweak where you tweak your OS to give you less input delay. It exists. I shit you not. During my day off, someone sent me a link to it. Obviously, I'm not gonna put it on my PC. My PC is on Windows 8 outdated as shit. So this is what they're all using. Yep, pretty much. They're doing every possible thing to give themselves an advantage. Now, the real question here is, how much of an advantage? And is it an unfair advantage? I don't know. I can't tell you with any kind of real evidence what exactly the methods are or how much of an advantage it is. All I can tell you is, do you think that by chance, everyone just decided to buy a Street Fighter 6 on PC and just happened to luck into magic? Master, when that's all the people at the top echelons, if you went to any major FGC pro player right now and you asked them about it, they probably wouldn't tell you. They don't want you to know. There was always an elitist attitude, a good old boys club of those who were pro players who got all the advantages, they know exactly what they're doing, and they're going to do whatever they can to get ahead. It sucks. It sucks. What can you do? I knew that there was something going on when I was watching videos of top level players, every single person I've watched is playing on PC, without exception. They're all on PC. No one is playing this game on console, no one. Oh, well that's because they're streamers so they have a streaming PC. Do you really think that they want to stream on the same PC that they're playing the game on? A lot of these people have dedicated PCs just to run the game and then a separate setup to stream. Yes, they're running dual PC setups, so yeah. It's pretty ridiculous. How bad of a situation is it? Well, here's the truth. For me, it's actually not that bad. Why? I have no aspiration to play Street Fighter 6 at a competitive level. My goal with Street Fighter 6 was to prove that I could hang in this game at a semi-competitive level, at least with the online community, by getting multiple characters, including one of the worst with Lily, to master level. That was pretty awesome. So to me, it's not a huge deal. I'm just a scrub at these games, and then I just drop the game. What I feel this is a huge deal about is number one, if you do have an online tournament, I do feel that that's ridiculously unfair. That just because someone bought the version on PC and somehow tweaked their hardware in some way, or maybe software or both, because I don't actually know what it is, now they don't drop inputs, they get everything instantly, you're playing underwater, but this is supposed to be a competition. That's not fair, that's not competitive, that's completely ridiculous and one-sided. Who cares? Just play. Stop complaining. That's my observations at this point. Now, I'm going to continue to do this. I would like to keep tracking how many are really playing on PC versus not. Now, it's funny because people who are completely ridiculous say, just turn off crossplay. 
I can't. There's literally no way to do that. How would you do that? I wouldn't even know how to do that. Do you not understand how these games work? Allow me to explain. Crossplay allows you to have a thriving, healthy player pool. Now, I want you to think statistically about the other night when I played. If you turn off crossplay, what you're telling my PlayStation to do is to cut out 80% of the player base of this game. It, I, here's what will happen. Every match will be laggy, literally lag fest. If I turn off crossplay, we're going to be sitting around waiting for matches and waiting a while. By the time it finds a match, every match will be laggy. For sure, this is what will happen. And we could try it if you want. You're not going to be happy. The other thing you have to understand is if I shut off crossplay, I'm never going to play a pro player. You will never see me play against any of the notable players in the FGC because they're all playing on PC. You'll never see me face the greats, which I think is kind of what people want. I'm not part of the FGC, I'm not trying to be competitive, but everyone wants to see me play against the pros and greats, make it make sense. Sure, I'm not competitive, I'm not part of the FGC, but everyone wants to see me play against the pros. What's not to understand? It's pretty much matter of fact, self-explanatory here, I don't know why I think it's rocket science. By the way, it is hot, and it's going to be hot for two more fucking days. This is absolutely ridiculous. We are firmly into autumn. It is 78 degrees. I don't have air conditioning. I took it out a month ago. So I'm going to be unseasonably hot, sweating, not in a very good mood, honestly. Once it gets hot, there's nothing I can do about this, okay? And uh, I'm very upset, and there's no way around it. I have to sit in this office and sweat all day. Why don't I have air conditioning in my house? Because these houses out here don't have central air. And to install central air, when I moved here 10 years ago, I was told $13,000. Probably it would be around $18,000 today. I don't have $18,000, so I'm stuck. I don't have money to do it. I don't have finances to do it. And I can't refinance, so I can't put central air in my house. What am I supposed to do? Samwise Gamgee, you don't know what you're talking about. He goes, don't you have a furnace you could upgrade for $6,000? Like, I love know-it-alls. I love it. I've already told this story a million times. The homes out here were not designed for central air. It doesn't even push air properly to the second floor like it's supposed to. When I had a guy come out here when I first moved in, he's like, basically, even if you installed a central air unit right now, you would not get any air conditioning on the second floor. The whole ductwork and everything is wrong. You'd have to redo your whole duct system. I guarantee it would be like eighteen dollars to $20,000 to redo that. I don't have that money. Too bad. So sad. Bye-bye. I have blinds blocking the sun, and it doesn't matter. The, the office heats up 20 degrees in the afternoon. I'm sitting here, and I can't even open my blinds because the sun is beating so hard on that window, I won't be able to see. It's stupid. I'm stuck where I am, and I can't do anything. Don't have that kind of money. The electric bill was off the chart. So now's a good time to remind everyone. I'm an independent content creator. I don't have sponsorships. I don't run a ton of ads. I'm essentially here to just e-bag. The reason I'm still here for 15 years is because of you. It would be great to get some support. So please support today's streams. Do that. The more tips, the better. Let's hit the tier one tips goal every stream this week. If I can hit that tier one tips goal every stream, that would be spectacular. And especially with the cost of all these games coming out in the next few weeks that I got to drop money on. So if you can do that, thank you in advance. And yeah, thank you, Mango, for the super chat. But please. Scaring everyone here. All right, let's talk about the schedule for the week. Today's main stream is the premiere of Assassin's Creed Mirage. I was able to get the game on Ubisoft Plus. This is the monthly subscription service you can use to get access to all of Ubisoft's hot games. Some of the games I saw on there, all the Far Cry games are on there. All the Assassin's Creed's are on there. All the Tom Clancy, Ghost Recon shit. Why on earth would you buy these games outright. Assassin's Creed Mirage is $50 plus tax if you buy it outright, or you can just get the subscription service, play the game once, and be like, okay, I'm done. I see it like an extended rental. You have a month rental to beat the game. Okay, that sounds good to me, and you're saving a lot of money. So I recommend to anyone who's into these Ubisoft games, why buy them? I would just get Ubisoft Plus and save yourself a ton of money. That's what I'm doing. It's funny because I got the month subscription, immediately canceled it. Immediately. I was like, dude, I don't want to have this auto-renewing on me. So, Sunday is React Day. Quick reminder to those of you who are channel members over there, you have to nominate your clips by the end of tomorrow night's streams. And again, you're not gonna get your video watched, okay? What about Starfield? Well, I think Starfield's the game that has to go on hold. Honestly, it's the game that's held the least interest. People are like, wow, it really didn't innovate at all. The space combat, it sucks. The ship building, completely superfluous, doesn't need to be in the game. Outpost building, exactly the same. My wife beat this game. She literally never beat or built one outpost. She doesn't even know what it's for. Now that we're jumping into all these new releases, people want to see me play the new games. They're not too interested in Starfield anymore. I don't blame them. I'm not foreseeing me playing Starfield moving forward. That's the game that's kind of going to be skipped. I'm not stressing about Starfield at this point. In fact, I don't think I'm even missing anything by not playing it right now. 
you know? I'd rather play Street Fighter. It actually is better than Starfield, especially the story elements are just better than what Starfield is presenting. Really, fuck Starfield. I would wanna go back to it. 80 hours long, has 50 hours of boring padding. The game is tedious as shit, repetitive combat. Oh, by the way, there's one quest line that's really notable and everything else you forget. Forget that shit. Anyway. Okay, so ladies and gentlemen, it is time for Phil's day off. What did I do yesterday? You know, I went to the dump. We're gonna probably eat from there in the future for sure. That was really my day off. There's nothing else crazy that happened or anything like that. So really no reason to go nuts about talking about segments that aren't that big of a deal. Nothing of note really happened yesterday. All right, ladies and gents, it is time for my favorite segment. It's time for your favorite segment. It's time for everyone's favorite segment here on the Level 1 Podcast. It is time... For DSP News! Sorry, a little build up there. Dramatic. All right, story number one. Uh, we have some really bad news in regards to Telltale Games. They had to lay off like a ton of their staff. Half the company has been laid off. I liked Telltale games back in the day. Like, those are some of the formative games that I was playing in my early YouTube days. I think that the Walking Dead original season was so good. And the fact that I played these games on release day showed you options of making choices, how meaningful they were, things like that. I think people really loved that, those playthroughs from back in the day. Should should I say what everyone else is thinking? DSB Gaming was for a certain time period, and that time period was over a decade ago. The era of Heavy Rain, The Walking Dead, when it was huge and prominent. Over the years, they fell out of prominence. We don't care about DSP Gaming. You're right, I don't either. It's over. There was a fad, and when you recognize that the trend is over, you move on. They don't realize that yet right um i think it is now time to get to shout outs we start off today with mr game master with a super chat after five months redfall has gotten a 60 frames per second patch yeah no one cares the game is terrible i'm not even gonna talk about it it's just a waste of everyone's time all right that's it i have nothing on the tip side of things to shout out this morning no tips have come in yet so what do you guys want to talk about what's on everyone's mind Knickerbocker says, did you look at community responses on your suggestion post? Did you not understand how this works? I explained it the other day. So we have a community suggestions post right now. People are posting up and every day I am approving people's posts. At the very end of this month, we're going to sit down and we're going to read through those on the podcast. That's the point. I don't have time to go through all of them now and address them. How would I do that right now exactly? Jade, good to have you here today. No, I've never pet a duck before. Ducks don't like to be pet. Am I planning to do an interview with Mutahar? When you say Mutahar, isn't that that guy, some ordinary gamers? Would you like to hear the story? Because there was a little bit of interaction on Twitter a couple months ago, and literally no one has asked me about this since then. Basically, I guess the guy doesn't like me. Thinks that I'm a bad person, a bad gamer. I make YouTubers look bad. I have no idea how he ever came to that conclusion, but apparently he doesn't like me. Okay. A few months ago, someone uh, had said that they wanted to interview me again. Now, I had an interview earlier this year. You know how it went. I'm not interested in any further interviews. You guys told me for like two months after that Side Scrollers interview that all it was was drama for you guys. And you didn't want to deal with that. You just wanted to have fun with me on stream. And you hated that it went that way. Please don't do this nonsense anymore. So I've done my best this year to stay out of drama. How many times have we talked about that stuff in the last many months that I've told you guys I'm done with drama? Tons. How much fun have we had on stream because we're not talking about it? Zero, right? people wanted to interview me. This guy Mudahar was one of them. And he had said that he was going to pay me $5,000 for an interview. Oh, is that all? Is that it? All he basically said was, I want to do an interview with you. I'll pay you $5,000 for it. Within that day, I responded right back to him. No, I would not accept your offer of $5,000, right? It's this simple. Pay me billions of dollars. I don't want to talk about the same drama shit that everyone already asked me about. If the interview is going to be about that same stuff, then the answer is no, I'm not interested. If you want to do interviews about games, you want to talk about my work ethic I'm down for that the interview in March served the purpose that it served to entertain these morons and it's good for that you want to see bullshit watch the interview there's no point in me ever doing a second interview about the same topics so I said if you want to have a good interview let's talk about that side scrollers interview let's talk about how those guys all became snakes after the fact and literally for the last many months have profited directly off of slandering me I think that would be a great interview exposing how bad they are as people as content creators right I'm willing to talk about that just don't ask me the same questions okay that was my response to him I have never heard from him since no response whatsoever didn't even say oh thanks for the response he just never responded no, I'm not doing an interview with this guy because apparently he wasn't interested in anything besides the same exact drama questions that have already been asked. That's that. He definitely read it. He just didn't care for my answer and that was it. Never heard from him again. So there you go. 
Mango Jewel Pods re his membership. Stop wearing goofy shirts. It's too hot. All right, I'll stop wearing goofy shirts. This is a very goofy shirt, obviously. Very, very hilariously goofy, right? No one wears these shirts but me. You know, I just occurred to me, it's been almost a week. We still have not seen the best Halloween animation, the highest level, the $100 Halloween animation has not played yet because we have not had a $100 tip. Will we have a $100 tip by the end of this month? I don't know. I, you know, I guess we'll see. But uh, hasn't happened yet. Well, folks, I do believe it is time for us to end the show. It was so bad that I thought like that was bottom of the barrel. <sighs> I don't know what I got myself into. I wish I could get myself out of it now, but I think it's a little too late.